Welcome back. You know, this year, Eastern Iowa is going to be well represented in that national competition of the intense obstacle courses. You know it, of course, as American Ninja Warrior. That's right. For three of the contestants, it will be their first time on the course, and for the other, his third. KWW reporter Diego Hernandez live for us tonight out in Cedar Falls at Ninja U, where the ninjas have been training for the past several years. Ready for this. Yes, well, like you said, Ron, I'm at Ninja U in Cedar Falls, and you can see all the equipment and obstacles behind me, and it looks super fun, but for the three first-timers, it's pretty serious stuff. They told me about when they first got that call and how excited they are to go and compete. I'm super emotional because it's been, like, two years of working out for it and then, like, past, like, eight years of actually watching the show. Next week, four Eastern Iowa natives will test their strength and agility on national television. <laughs> and they couldn't be more thrilled. Just seeing all the ninjas there competing at the same time, seeing all the friends I haven't seen in a while, and just meeting new people at, as well, and competing, of course. This next season will look a bit different than the last one. There will be more contestants, but still have a virtual audience. Like, you're still going to have that adrenaline rush. I think, like, I'll still get tunnel vision and, like, just be super focused. So, like, I think it'll play, like, a small factor, but I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. Representing their hometowns and Eastern Iowa as a whole is helping each of them prepare. And they're supporting me throughout the whole journey and they're going to be watching me while I'm competing too. So I feel super happy about being able to represent my town's community and stuff like that. All competitors will be fighting for the grand prize of $1 million. <laughs> this group of ninjas looking forward to going into this for the first time together. I'm excited. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be nice having my friends on the sidelines uh, cheering me on as well. And here at the Ninja U Gym, they have a warped wall like they would in the show, only it's not as tall. This one goes up to 14 and a half feet, and the one in American Ninja Warrior goes to about 18. And if they conquer it, they can win $10,000. And the ninjas were showing me some of their tricks and what they can do, and they thought I should give it a shot here at Ninja U to try and go up the wall. So here goes nothing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I'm sure the ninjas can do it with much better form than I just did right now. And I'm sure we'll all be looking forward to watching them when the show airs live in Cedar Falls. Diego Hernandez, <laughs> New 7 KWWL. Diego, Diego, I want to tell you, though, my seven-year-old grandson has done that 10-foot wall, too, so don't get <laughs> too cool. And by the way, of course, Jackson Twait, my friend from Hudson, he will also join his three friends. It'll be his third season on American Ninja Warrior. It will be premiering at the end of May, and of course, the show does air, of course, right here on KWWL.